Jello Puddings present... Henry! Henry Aldrich! Coming, Mother. The Aldrich Family, based on characters originated by Trisha Goldsmith, and starring Ezra Stone as Henry with Jackie Kelkis Homer, brought to you by Jello Puddings. Just a taste of Jello Puddings, and believe me, you will know they are made by famous J E L L O. Yes, Jello Puddings, those old time, all time favorites you've always known and loved. All three so rich and distinctive, so creamy smooth, with an old fashioned homemade goodness. There's Jello chocolate pudding, rich, dark, and luscious. There's buttery brown sugar butterscotch, and creamy rich vanilla, a trio of treats. They're made with milk and nourishing. They cook to perfection in just about five minutes. And all three Jell-O puddings are so gloriously good, you'll say you never tasted anything better. And now for the Aldrich family. There's something about a teenage boy that makes all of us laugh and remember and live again the days of our youth. And if he's a typical teenager like Henry Aldrich... It's always a pleasure to join him in the joys and misadventures that were ours when we were young. It's evening. The scene is the Aldrich living room. Father, may I just point out one thing? What? It's only seven fifty. And do you realize how much a new suit of clothes would cost? You want a new suit of clothes? No, sir. I'd rather have a school ring. Henry, for the last time, I'm not buying you a school ring. Now, I'd like to read my paper. But, Father, everybody in school is getting one. All the kids I know just went home and asked for money, and their father said, Sure, gee whiz, you're welcome to it, and just forked over. I see. But I appreciate your being economical, Father. Gee, if you didn't pinch pennies around here, you wouldn't have any bank account at all. Well, I'm glad you realize that. You've built up quite a nice bank account that way, haven't you, Father? I have. So you really wouldn't miss seven fifty, would you? <laughs> Henry, if you think I'm going to hand over seven fifty for a ring that you'll wind up giving to some girl... Father, whatever gave you an idea like that? Gee, the rings are solid gold with our school crest on them in two colors. Why would I give a thing like that to a girl? I don't know, son, but we all do. You mean you once gave a ring to a girl? <laughs> Henry, I'm trying to read my paper. Oh, but, Father, I haven't told you why I really need it. You haven't? You see, the teachers all feel that we need something to keep up our morale. Just imagine you're sitting in history class, see, and you're bored stiff. And you just happen to glance down and, at your ring. And it's got your good old school crest on it. And, boy, you want to stand up and cheer. That's very interesting. Go on. And then you think of how much Central High means to you. And it all comes back that you're there to get an education. Yes, so you pile into your history like a ton of bricks, and you wind up first in your class. Everybody winds up first? Oh, no, sir, just me. Oh. So can't I please have a school ring? No. Father, have you thought of this? Henry, have you thought of this? If I bought you that ring, you wouldn't have it a week before it would be lost. Lost, Father? Lost? How could I lose it when it's on my finger? What about that fountain pen I bought you last month? You wanted to know how you could lose that when it was clipped to your jacket. Well, I didn't lose that pen, Father. No? I just lost the jacket. <laughs> I see. And I couldn't very well lose my finger. Henry, I'm not going to argue. The point is, until your memory improves, I'm not buying you another thing. Oh, my memory, Father. Is that all that's worrying you? Is that all? Henry, do you realize how important memory is? Sure, Father. And from now on, you're going to see a big change in me. Good. Boy, I'm going to remember every single thing I can lay my mind on. For instance, do you know what year the Battle of Waterloo was fought? What year? I'll go and look it up. <laughs> You wait there, Father, and I'll... Henry, look out. Gee, I'm sorry, Mother. Did I knock you over? Not quite. My goodness, Sam, what's he so excited about? Alice, I'm supposed to be a good lawyer, but I'd hate to come up against Henry in court. He does have a way with him, doesn't he? He does indeed. It's about that school rig. Sam, why don't you get it for him? I am going to get it for him, for a Christmas present. Oh. But I'm not sure I'll be able to hold out that long. <laughs> Yes, dear. Some more coffee, Sam? Just half a cup, please. Why isn't Henry down for breakfast? He'll be right down. My, isn't this a lovely morning? Mother, is there anything we can do about Henry this evening? How do you mean, dear? Well, with Joe Graham coming and everything, 
I don't want Henry coaxing for that ring all through dinner. Joe will think we haven't got a cent. Well, if Joe's interested only in your money, you might as well find it out right now. Oh, Father. Anyway, Mary, about that ring, your father's decided... Oh, Alice. What, dear? Uh, Mary, will you uh, please run out to the kitchen and fry me another egg? All right, Father. Sam, what's the matter? I don't want Mary to know I'm getting Henry that ring. Be sure to let the cat out of the bag. Oh, yes, dear. Perhaps you're right. My, I can't wait to see Henry's face on Christmas morning. The only thing is, have you any idea how we can get his finger size? Sam, I thought you were going to measure his finger last night when he was asleep. I did, but something went wrong. What happened, dear? Well, I got the string nicely knotted around his finger, and just as I went to cut it, he rolled over. On the scissors? No, Alice, on the string. His hand disappeared under his chest someplace, and every time I tried to get it, he just giggled. Sam. What? Here he comes. Oh. Alice, this is a grand breakfast. Good morning, Mother. Good morning, dear. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Henry. Well, goodbye. Henry, what do you mean, goodbye? What about your breakfast? I don't feel like any breakfast, Mother. Henry, don't be silly. I couldn't eat a bit, Father. Honest, I'm too... I'm not hungry. Hey, Henry. I'm coming, Homer. Henry, you can't go to school without eating. I'll eat an apple on the way. You are, Henry. And eat an apple right in front of me? Come on, honey. <laughs> Boy, you might worry. Well, don't worry about it. If you haven't got two apples, she all understand. Homer, do you remember me saying anything about something my father asked me to do? What? You see the string tied on my finger? Well, I woke up this morning and there it was, and I can't remember what I tied it on there for. <laughs> well, that's easy, Henry. It was to remind you to do something. Sure it was. But I can't remember what. I can't even remember tying it on. Henry, you're in bad shape. I'll say. Right on top of my father lecturing me about my memory. Was it something you had to do for somebody else? Yeah. It must have been something for my father. He's the only one I was talking to last night. Concentrate, Henry. Concentrate. I'll say. Gee whiz, if I can't remember what it is, my father will never buy me that ring. <laughs> your father say anything at dinner about you not doing it? No, Homer. That's the awful part of it. He just looked at me. He did? Well, that's terrible. All through dinner tonight, when he wasn't talking to Joe Graham, he just kept staring at me. At my hands. Your hands? Sure. He's so mad he can't look me straight in the eye. <laughs> I wish I could help you out, Henry. Say, maybe you could. My father's in the living room with Josie. Suppose you go in and ask him if there's anything he'd like you to do. Henry, are you crazy? What if there is? Well, he might ask you to do the thing I'm supposed to remember to do. Then I'll do it. Well, okay, you stay here. Don't act suspicious, though, Homer. I won't. Oh, my work's going just fine, thank you, Mr. Aldrich. Well, I'm glad to hear it, Joe. Oh, Homer. Oh, by the way, Mr. Aldrich, is there any little thing you'd like me to do? No, thank you. You can't think of a thing? <laughs> Not a single thing. That's for me. And now, Homer, I have something I'd like to discuss with Joe here. Oh, sure, Mr. Aldrich. And if you think of anything, I wish you'd let me know. Nice boy. Yes. Now, Joe, here's what I want to ask you. I'm getting Henry a school ring for a Christmas present. I want to make sure I get it before they're all gone. Yes. But here's the catch. It has to be picked up in person at the school, and I don't want Henry or any of his friends to see me down there. They might suspect something. Well, I understand, Mr. Aldrich. And I wonder, Joe, if you'd mind running over to Central High tomorrow and getting one of those rings for me. Oh, no, sir. I wouldn't mind a bit. Oh, that's fine. Uh, another thing. I'd rather you didn't mention this to Mary. I want to be sure Henry well, doesn't find out. And I, I don't think... know. Oh, don't let me disturb you, Mr. Aldrich. Homer, what are you doing? Wait, I tell you, I just thought I'd straighten this plant a little. Go right on with what you were saying, Mr. Aldrich. Uh, Homer, I don't want to seem rude, but can't you please run along? Sure, Mr. Aldrich. Uh, just as soon as I tie my shoelace. You just forget I'm in the room. How can I do that? Well, I'll tie it real quietly. Well, you just... Homer, will you please leave? Oh, gee whiz, I'd be glad to. And now then, Mr. Oh, uh, wait a minute, Joe, until we're sure we're alone. Oh, boy. Did you find out, Homer? Did you find out what they were talking about? Boy, Henry, is your father unreasonable? You mean he's mad? I'll say. All I could find out is he's asking Joe to do something for him. He is? Oh, boy, that means he's really mad. Homer, you stay here. I'll get Mary to help me. Mary! I'm in the dining room, Henry, and please don't bother me. I'm trying to get these dishes cleared away. Mary, you 
You've got more influence with Joe Graham than I have. Won't you please ask him a simple question for me? What question? Just call him in here and ask him what father's been talking to him about. My goodness, is father talking about me? About you? Henry, he hasn't been showing Joe that photograph album, has he? Why, you... Oh, my goodness, Joe! I'll wait out here in the hall. Did you call me, Mary? Yes, I, uh... I thought you might like to keep me company while I wash the dishes. Well, I guess I could. Uh, the only thing is, your father and I were... were... What, Joe? Nothing. Joe, you started to say something. What were you and father talking about? Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. I'd like to tell you, but I can't. You mean it's a surprise? Well, that's what it is. Well, Joe, isn't that sweet? I just love surprises. What's that? Oh, Joe. Uh, yes, Mr. Aldrich. Uh, one more thing about that ring, about getting the size. Oh, Mary. Father, did you say... Did you say... Uh, Mary, just forget what I said. Of course, Father. I didn't hear a thing. <laughs> Joe, could you come back into the living room a minute? Yes, Joe. You just go on. And my goodness, you talk as long as you want about... About... Thanks, Mary. Uh, what were you going to say, Mr. Aldrich? Wait until I close the door. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. An engagement ring. Mother! Yes, dear? Mother, come here. You have all the plates down. Mother, I'm so happy I could die. I can hardly believe it. Believe what? My goodness, after all these years, I thought it was never going to happen. Here, what on earth are you talking... Mary, no. Mother, yes. What? To Joe Graham. He's in there right now talking to Father. Mary. Mary, my little girl. <laughs> Mother, are you talking? Of course not, dear. Mary, I want you to know how happy I am for you. Now I think I'd like to go and get something out of my eye. Come right back, Mother. We'll have to start planning everything. I don't know how I'll be able to stand this house without you. Mother, it isn't that I don't appreciate your help. It's no trouble at all, dear. But don't you think we're rushing things a little? He hasn't even asked me yet. I know, dear, but since you'll be buying a house eventually, you should get an idea of the market so Joe will know what you're talking about. Well, I guess it can't do any harm to look. Here we are, dear. Go ahead. Thank you, Mother. Oh, my, look at the lovely picture. Oh, I like that stone house up there. Uh, yes, lady, may I help you? Uh, this is the Crawford Real Estate Office, isn't it? Yes, indeed, I'm Mr. Crawford. How do you do? We were wondering what you had in the way of houses. Well, now... Just a small house for two people. Oh, about five rooms? Well, let's see. Uh, may I have your name, please? Mrs... Uh, that is Miss... Mother, what do I tell him? I'm Mrs. Samuel Aldrich, and this is my daughter, Mary. Aldrich. Very well. Oh, say, I think I have just the thing for you. It's a little Cape Cod, stone and clabbered, and it's a beauty. Oh, goodness, it sounds perfectly wonderful. Uh, just a moment, Mary. I'll do the talking. Uh, Mr. Crawford, it sounds as though it might be satisfactory. Uh, uh, how about the price? Oh, it's dirt cheap, Mrs. Aldrich. They're giving it away for seventeen thousand. Seventeen thousand dollars, Mr. Crawford? That's ridiculous. Come along, Mary. Mrs. Aldrich, you haven't even seen the house. Thank you very much for your trouble, but please forget the whole thing. But wait, you we have... were really just looking anyway, Mr. Crawford. He hasn't even asked me yet. <laughs> I'm glad you dropped into the office, Will. I can't seem to keep my mind on work somehow. I can understand that. It'll take a while to get used to it. Mary seems so young, I just can't picture her getting married. Boy, that wedding will set you back something. Well, I don't mind that so much. I've been watching the pennies for a while, Will. I've managed to build up a nice little bank account. Yeah? Besides, I'm sure Mary will be sensible about it. I wouldn't count on it. They all want a big splash. Oh, I don't know, Will. Well, that's one consolation about Homer. When he gets married, someone else can worry about the bills. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Hello, is that Mr. Samuel Aldrich? Yes. Uh, this is Mr. Crawford. Who? Mr. Crawford, from the real estate office. Yes. I thought perhaps I'd better talk this thing over with you. What thing? About the house. Your wife apparently isn't aware that prices have gone up, and if you want a house... I don't want a house. I've got a house. But, Mr. Aldrich, your wife was in my office only yesterday. She was definitely interested in looking at a small house with about five rooms. What? And I found a little jewel for only 12000 Uh, look, Mr. Crawford, suppose I get in touch with you. You'll do that? Yes, one way or the other. All right, sir. Well, Sam, what's happened? Is it bad news? Alice is out looking at houses. What for? Well, she's been saying she didn't think she could stand our old house without Mary, but I didn't think she meant it literally. Well, you just said you have a nice bank account. Not that nice. <laughs>
Famous favorites for years. And no wonder, because you never tasted anything better. That's Jell-O puddings. Jell-O chocolate, butterscotch, and vanilla pudding with that old-fashioned homemade goodness. Yes, a trio of treats. Smooth as cream, rich and distinctive, with a full-bodied flavor that's luscious and satisfying. Treat the folks to Jell-O vanilla pudding tomorrow. Dress it up with sparkling maraschino cherries, a combination to tempt both the eye and the appetite. Jell-O vanilla pudding, with its enticing rich vanilla delicacy, always calls for second helpings. And there's Jell-O butterscotch pudding. How the kids go for that smacking good buttery brown sugar taste. Or Jell-O chocolate pudding, with that exciting true chocolatey flavor. All three Jell-O puddings are nourishing, made with milk, and they cook to creamy perfection in just about five minutes. So ask for Jell-O puddings, chocolate, butterscotch, and vanilla. You never tasted anything better. And now, getting back to the troubles of Henry Aldrich. Hoping to get a school ring, Henry is desperately trying to remember something his father asked him to do. Mr. Aldrich, however, has already sent Joe Graham down to the school to get the ring as a Christmas present for Henry. And Mary believes Joe is buying her an engagement ring. It's the next day, and the scene opens in the Aldrich backyard. I'm in the backyard, Homer. Where'd you disappear to? I've been around in front, resting on the porch. Resting? Sure. Don't you think I get tired watching you do all this work? <laughs> well, then you better go away again, Homer, because I'm going to finish beating these rugs. If you ask me, Henry, you're going to kill yourself doing all this work. But don't you get it, Homer? If I do all the things my parents usually ask me to do, I'm sure to do it. Do what? See, whiz, the thing I can't remember to do. Stand back. But, Henry, I've got some news for you. Something I just found out from Willie. What? Well, you know how Willie's in charge of selling school rings? Yeah. Well, your father just bought one for Joe Graham. Homer, you're crazy. I am not. Joe went down to the school today and got a ring, and he gave Willie a check from your father. He did? Well, well, gee, what's wrong with that? Joe used to go to Central High, didn't he? Well, sure. Well, Homer. gee, that, that's only natural. Joe's going to be a part of the family. My father has a perfect right to buy him a school ring. Instead of buying one for you? Sure. It isn't every day a family gets a new son. Gee, do you suppose Joe will be moving into your room? You think so? Well, he's certainly welcome to it. Look, Ken, there's lots of room over at my house. No, thank you, Homer. I wouldn't think of forcing myself on anybody. Henry, where are you going? Don't worry about me, Homer. I'll, I'll be all right. Boy... Boy, am I mad. Where's that carpet beater? Yes, sir. May I show you something in snow shovel? Uh, no, thank you. I was wondering if you carried pear trees. Oh, yes, indeed. The Emporium carries everything. And if we don't... We can get it for you. Oh, well, that's fine. Uh, can you send six pear trees up to my home right away? Right away? Uh, yes, my wife's been wanting some for years. Oh, but this is December. Well, I thought this was as good a time as any to get them in. They'll keep until spring if I cover them over with earth. They will? Oh, of course they will. Although you know that pear trees are quite expensive. They cost considerably less than $12,000. Oh, yes, uh, considerably. Oh, and do you have paint in this department? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, how much would you like? Uh... Enough to paint a house. Oh, what kind of a house? Well, it's quite a large one and very comfortable. As a matter of fact, I'm very attached to it. Oh, is that so? Oh, say, I just thought of something else she's been wanting. Yes? I'll be back in a minute. Oh, first, could you direct me to the rug department? And as soon as I can, Homer, I'm going to send back this suitcase to my father. Will you hand me that pile of socks on the dresser, please? Oh, I have... Never mind, I'll get them. Never mind. Here they are. Thank you. One of them needs mending. Huh? I'll just throw in a needle and some thread. Might as well get used to doing my own mending. Henry, why run away now? Why not at least wait till after Christmas? No, Homer, my mind's made up. I'm leaving just as soon as I have dinner. Henry, have you any idea how tough it is on the road? I won't be begging, Homer. I'll be working my way. Working? What at? I'll find something. At least I have an education. Yeah, but... And I'm not a child, you know. Your suitcase is getting pretty full. That's what I was thinking. I guess I'll have to throw out my... 
Rock collection. <laughs> You're throwing your rocks away? Hope you don't think I'm going to leave them around for Joe Graham. Henry, did I tell you I'm pretty interested in rocks? You are? Well, that is, if you're running away. In that case, Homer, here. They're yours. Gee, Henry, you're giving them to me? Gee, you shouldn't. Nothing of it. Can you reach up on the wall there, please, Homer, and hand me Kathleen's picture? Look at her, Henry. Look at her smiling at you. Just hand it to me, Homer. Look what she's written on it. To Henry, yours truly, Kathleen Anderson. (laughs) Just think of how she's going to feel. Think of the spring prom, Henry. Now listen, Homer. Is that our doorbell? Sure. But why should you worry about it? I guess I'll answer it, though. It's the least I can do for my family on my last night. Can I start taking my rocks out of your suitcase? Sure. Help yourself. Oh, hi, Henry. Gee whiz, Joe, I haven't even left yet. I beg your pardon? Well, come on in. Thanks. And I just want to say, Joe... No hard feelings. About what? You know, everything. Oh. Well, no hard feelings here either. Naturally. Is your father around? I think I heard him come in a little while ago. Joe Graham? Is that you? Hello, Mr. Aldrich. Well, well, it's nice to see you. I'll just go on back upstairs. Here, let me take your coat, Joe. Uh, thank you, sir. Mr. Aldrich, I, uh, I thought I'd drop over with Henry's ring. Oh, good. Thank you. I guess you'll be buying one or two more before long, eh? What's that? I suppose we go into the living room and have a little chat. All right. Well, well, sit down, son. Thank you, sir. Well, 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 Joe. Yes, Mr. Aldrich? Oh, just call me. Well, no, there's no point in rushing things, I guess. No, no, there isn't. Rushing what, sir? Let me put it this way. Mary's a fine girl, Joe, a fine girl. Oh, yes, I like her very much. Naturally. Well, I guess I'll be running along now. Oh, nonsense, Joe. We'll be having dinner in a few minutes. You're just in time. But I was here for dinner two nights ago. Well, things are a little different now, aren't they, son? They are? (laughs) Now, let me give you a word of advice, Joe. You and Mary will get along fine as long as you remember a few simple rules. We get along all right. Yes, but wait until you see how she irons your shirts. What's that? It runs in the family, Joe. They just can't iron shirts. Now, you take my advice and send them out to the laundry. But my mother irons my shirts. Oh, and that's another thing. Don't ever mention your mother. No? Your mother can't do a thing. Remember that. She can't cook. She can't mend. And above all, she can't keep house. Mr. Aldrich, my mother's a fine woman. Why, yes, Joe, and so is mine. But you'll have to choose between them. I will? Uh Uh-huh. And that about covered it. Oh, but I'd just like to say, Joe, I'm not losing a daughter. Father! Uh, yes, Mary? Mother says dinner is almost... Oh. Hello, Mary. Why, why, Joe. Hello, Joe. My goodness. Yes, Mary? Joe, I want you to know that I'm starting cooking school on Monday. And I'm also very good at darning socks. You are? Yes, indeed. You'll never have to worry about your socks in the future. You mean Mary's going to darn them? Of course, Joe. <laughs> But my goodness, here I am doing all the talking. Oh, before you forget, Joe, uh, where's the ring? What? Oh, here it is, Mr. Oldham. Oh, thank you, Joe. I really didn't want you to know about it, Mary, but now that you and Joe... Well, it's a Christmas present for Henry. Don't you think you'll like it? A school ring? Joe, is that what you and Father were talking about the other night? Why, sure. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Is something wrong, Mary? I heard you in here. Oh, good evening, Mrs. Aldrich. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And isn't it nice having you... Joe, come on. Where? Anywhere. Just come on. Mary, have you been saying anything about my mother? (laughs) Alice, does it strike you Mary's acting very strangely? I hadn't noticed. What I'm wondering about is that phone call. What phone call? From the Emporium. A man phoned a while ago and asked if I wanted the rugs delivered tomorrow. Oh, uh, Alice, I've been meaning to speak to you about that. I ordered those new rugs you've been wanting for the living room in front hall. You what? Also six pear trees and enough paint to do the whole house inside and out. Sam. And I thought we might redecorate the upstairs the way you wanted. Sam, you darling. You're pleased, Alice. Pleased? I've never been so surprised and happy in my whole life. You mean you'll reconsider about the new house? What new house? By the one you've been looking at. Dear, I never wanted a new house. What? 
Well, now, look. And excuse me, I want to call the Emporium and tell them to send those rugs. Alice, wait. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Henry. Did I knock you over? Not entirely. Listen, Father, I, I started thinking about the spring prom and a few things, and then I smelled the stew Mother's cooking for supper, and I'd like to make you a proposition, Father. A proposition? Yes, sir. From today on, I'll polish the car twice a week, and I'll get up at 6 o'clock every morning to stoke the furnace. You'll what? And besides, I'll shovel all the walks and carry out the ashes. What would you think of that? I think I was dreaming. Well, it's a deal, Father. Shake. Shake? Shake. And, uh, Henry, while this was supposed to be a Christmas present, under the circumstances, I think I'd like you to have it now. Father... My school ring. You like it, son? Like it? Boy! And, Father, I finally remembered what you wanted me to do, I think. I wanted you to do something? Sure, you wanted me to burn that pile of bushes in the backyard. What? And it's all taken care of. Henry, my pear tree! <laughs> well, Mr. Weast, Mr. Weast, uh, you want to know something? Well, sure. What? Well, uh, I'd like to tell you about my favorite brunette. Ah, one of those true glamour girls, I'll bet, with rich, dark tresses and glorious, dark eyes. No, no. I'm talking about my favorite brunette dessert. That rich, dark, jello chocolate pudding. Why, of course, jello chocolate pudding. You never tasted anything better with that marvelous, true chocolate flavor, especially made by the famous Walter Baker chocolate people. All three Jell-O puddings, chocolate, vanilla, and butterscotch, are rich and distinctive with real old-fashioned homemade goodness. Jell-O vanilla pudding, smooth as cream with that tempting vanilla delicacy. Jell-O butterscotch pudding with that buttery brown sugar taste. And say, all three Jell-O puddings cook to perfection in just about five minutes. And they're nourishing, made with milk. So when you go to your grocers, ask for Jell-O puddings. You never tasted anything better. Does anybody know where Mary is? Father, are you in the living room? Yes, Henry, I'm writing out checks. I've got the car polished, Father. Boy, does, does my back ache. There, that's the last one. Now, could you tell me where Mary is? I don't know where she is. Why? Well, Joe Graham just dropped off this bundle of old socks. What's that? He said Mary would take care of them. Just a taste of jello puddings and believe me, you will know. They are made by famous J-E-L-L-O. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.